Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Mel and today it's time for a sketchbook tour. It took me two whole years to finish this sketchbook. I started it September 2020 and I finished it September 2022. As you can see, I painted the cover of the sketchbook. I actually didn't paint it till after the sketchbook was done because I was afraid I would paint something I didn't like and I would have to look at it every time I would use my sketchbook. Okay, let's take a look into my sketchbook. I always start the, my sketchbook with some sort of introduction page. I'm not too big of a fan of these two first pages here, but that's okay, it's all part of the sketchbook experience. There will be some good pages and some not so good pages. These two black and white pages I do really like, especially the side profile on the right side. I'm pretty proud of how that came out. I mostly use pencils, fine liners or ballpoint pens to sketch with. And the fun thing about a toned sketchbook like this one is, is that you can use a white pencil or white gel pen to add highlights, which is a thing I always like to do. This page is done with a purple pen that I've had for about 10 years now, I think. These ballpoint pen sketches on the right, I'm really quite proud of. I think they look nice. I think this little sketch on the bottom left corner turned out well. This I drew when I was watching and reading quite a bit of My Hero Academia. These are some silly little doodles of my dog in Halloween costumes. He's a wizard and a pirate. His name is actually Hook, so that last one is especially fitting. Some more anime sketches, this time from Little Witch Academia. I guess I like animes about schools. <laughs> My neighbor Totoro, which is always adorable. The little candle is a life drawing I did while sitting on my bed. Yeah, so this page was not my brightest moment because I accidentally drew the portrait upside down. But I think it looks kind of cool and intentional. Happy little accidents! Oh boy, this page on the left is rough. It's not good. But I do like the page on the right. Here we have a Winnie the Pooh on the left and some pretty intense emotional sketches on the right. Perfect. Some anime sketches and just look at this adorable little kitty. Of ballpoint pen and fine liner sketches, I did straight in pen or fine liner without any pencil underneath. I think it's a great exercise, and I started doing that a lot more after these pages. This sketch on the left is quite interesting because it almost feels like a finished piece, which I don't really do in my sketchbook normally. And here we have hands. You're gonna be seeing a few pages with hands because I was getting really into drawing hands. Hands are pretty difficult to draw and I felt like I was getting the hang of it a little bit. I don't know, I was enjoying it actually. <laughs> Here we have some random sketches on the left and I drew some feathers to fill the empty space. And here we have a page of crying eyes I drew when I was sad. I do quite like them. This drawing on the left, I think, is my least favorite drawing in this entire sketchbook. A 
around here is when I started to take requests from people on TikTok. They would give me suggestions of what to draw and it really helped me fill my sketchbook a lot quicker. I just realized that I drew this face in my previous sketchbook as well, which is quite interesting. These dinosaurs were a request from TikTok as well. They definitely were a challenge as I hadn't drawn anything like this before, but I had a lot of fun with it. I think this kitty is one of my favorite pages in the sketchbook. I think it turned out so cute. Pretty much all the pages you are seeing now are from requests I got on TikTok. It really helped me, it was so much fun and I really drew things I would normally have. On this page on the right are fantasy animals from Avatar The Last Airbender, which is one of my all-time favorite shows. These skulls were interesting. I really didn't like the first one, but the other ones went pretty well and I do like how those turned out. This spread was actually really fun. I used some metallic glittery gel pens, so they're all sparkly and shimmery. I tried to show it to you, but I'm not sure you can see it very well. Here we have Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. I got a request to draw a dragon and I just love How to Train Your Dragon. I really like these outfit studies, I think they turned out well. This page has some metallic gel pen as well, which I think is just such a fun touch. I'm really happy with how these snakes turned out. They were a bit difficult, but I'm so pleased with the result. Here I was taking a break from the requests and finally drew some faces again, as you can see. Some little burps, they're not the best, but I do think this little one on the right is quite cute. And here I'm back to drawing requests I got from people because I really wanted to finish this sketchbook and the request really helped me. Look at these cute little derby goats, aren't they adorable?
I do quite like these frogs, although I'm not quite sure I captured their tininess. I was having difficulty with that for some reason. This spread of grayscale fruits and pastel foods was so much fun and I think it looks quite nice. More hands, I am pretty proud of the one on the bottom right. Alright, we're almost at the end of the sketchbook. I was pretty much just filling the last few pages with some silly doodles, which I think is cute. We're at the end. The last page is the swatch page and that's it. I put some stickers on the back and that was it for my sketchbook tour. Right now I'm working in this big boy. Hopefully it won't take me as long to fill that one and I will see you somewhat soon for another sketchbook tour. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a comment and maybe subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!